Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over a quick guide on how to set up MU Deck on your Steam Deck. So one of the first things you're going to do is go ahead and go into desktop mode. From your desktop, you're going to go ahead and go down to whatever web browser you have and go to the website MU Deck. I'm going to have it linked down below. Go ahead and click downloads and click on the Steam OS download. Click OK and uh, we're going to go to the downloads folder on your Steam Deck. Grab it, and we're gonna drag it to the desktop because this actually has to be opened on your desktop. Move it there. We're gonna go ahead and double click that and we're gonna get something here saying that, if, are we sure we wanna install EmuDeck? Go ahead and click okay. And it's gonna go ahead and do its thing and download everything you need for EmuDeck. First thing it's gonna ask you is to select where you wanna put your ROM directory. You can do your SD card or internal storage. You can also do custom, but I don't recommend that. Um, for me, I'm gonna do the SD card. Uh, this isn't something permanent, you can always change this later. Go ahead and select your device, which is a Steam Deck in this case. And here you can pick what emulators you want. I'm going to go ahead and select everything, but once again, this is something that you can change later if you wanted to add or remove any of them. But for now, you can go with the default or you can just select the ones that you know you need. And now it's going to ask you to go ahead and do some settings. All these settings can be changed and these are based off of different emulators. So you have different aspect ratios and stuff like that. You can go ahead and hit skip all this. Um, if you want to change stuff, you can now, or I'll show you guys where to change it later. So it's no big deal. All right. So the installation was complete. We're going to go ahead and click next. Skip uh, adding your own games through the USB. I don't do that. I'm going to show you guys where to add them in your folders. We can go ahead and delete this off our desktop right now because we actually don't need that anymore. We have the Emu Deck application. And that's all we're going to use from now on to open up Emu Deck. And we're going to go into manage emulators. And here you can see how to update your emulators up here. And if you ever wanted to remove or add an emulator that you had chosen not to earlier, you can do that here as well. Or reinstall it if you end up having some errors and you need to do that. Backing out of that, we also have the BIOS file checker. So some emulators are gonna require you to go get your own BIOSes for them. And here's a list of the ones that EmuDeck supports that you do need to go get the BIOSes for. So things like the PlayStation, as well as some other ones. So this is showing that I don't have any BIOSes right now. Uh, but if you go ahead and go into your folder and go to your SD card, which is where I have mine, if you have yours on internal storage, it's going to be under home and then you're going to click deck and you should see a folder called emulation folder is the one we're going to click on. And in the BIOS folder is going to be all the different emulators that require either firmware, BIOSes or keys. Here you can see our ROMs folder with a bunch of folders inside of it showing all the different ROMs uh, divided up based on the emulators and you can go ahead and find the emulator or the device you're trying to emulate click on the folder and throw your rom in there so after you go you've gone ahead and added your roms into the rom folders you want to go ahead and add those games to steam so you can enter them in big picture mode so to do that we're going to go into steam rom manager which is going to close down steam and it's going to pop up this menu of parsers and you're going to select the parsers you want. Now these are going to be the icons that are going to show up on your Steam big picture mode. You can turn them all off and select the ones that you want or you can turn them all on. We're going to click parsers and then parse. And then this is what it's going to look like. You can change icons if you want. You get an idea of all the ones you're going to have. You're going to go and click parse and you're going to click save to Steam and then you're going to click back and uh, if you don't like it, you can change some settings. I recommend at least having Emulation Station. You can go into Emulation Station on your Steam Deck, and then Emulation Station will have all your games there if you don't want to crowd up your Steam Deck with a bunch of emulators and games. This is a good way to do it because it keeps it nice and clean. This is to save your save files online. Uh, I'm waiting for this feature to allow you to sync your save files between devices because I think that's going to be amazing between like your desktop as well as your Steam Deck. But for now, all you can really do is go ahead and upload your save files to any of these cloud services. And over here, we have a configurator for retro achievements. If you wanted to get achievements in some of your retro games, you have to make a login on retro achievements and then enter that username in here. So on this tab, you're able to switch where your ROM directory is installed so I have mine on my SD card so it's asking me where I want to move it from and if you had it on your internal storage you can move it from there onto anything else so from there we can go to the quick settings tabs and this was the tab I wanted to show you guys for any settings that you might have changed during the installation you can go ahead and revert those back or change them to something else here and lastly before we go back into game mode uh, the emu deck store they have a bunch of different games here that you can download for free for various different consoles and now we're gonna go back into game mode so now that we're back in game mode, you guys will see Emulation Station right here. 
but if we go ahead and go over to our library and go to the non-Steam tab, you can see all the different emulators that I set up in EmuDeck, just how they were shown in the Steam ROM Manager. And if you don't like the way this looks, you can go back to that Steam ROM Manager tab and change the way all of this looks. But I recommend at least having Emulation Station, because when you go ahead and open that one up, it'll go find your ROMs and show you all the ROMs you have. So right now I only have the one, which is a Nintendo GameCube game, so it's only showing me that. But if you had a bunch of different ROMs, you'd be able to go ahead and go through those and see all your games, all your different emulators from just one icon, keeping it really clean on your Steam Deck. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's a quick start guide on how to get up and running on EmuDeck, which is a great way to get retro games on your Steam Deck. And I'll see you guys next time.